Effects for our western counties and nasty weather is in store for the metro as well. Hello again, everyone. I'm Ken Molestina. And I'm Gilma Avalos. Road crews are already preparing for the potential of winter weather, but exactly what does that brine do? We're going to explore that in just moments. And this is a forecast that has a lot of variables, a lot of things changing soon. So let's get right over to meteorologist Annalise Park. She's got the very latest on her most recent look at what's going on out there. That's right, guys. Yeah, so you mentioned there is a winter storm watch that will be going into effect. For for locations west of the Metroplex. That's not where it stops, though. There's actually going to be a wind advisory we're talking about tomorrow afternoon until about midday on Friday. So that's just about everyone. This is for sustained winds, 30 to 40 miles per hour, gusts up to 50 miles per hour. So this storm system is going to pack a punch with winds, much colder air. Of course, of course there's moisture to deal with. So that's where you've got the rain and then the uh, chance for some snow. And that's primarily west. That's the location. Under the winter storm watch beginning tomorrow afternoon and taking us into early on Friday. So far, so good though. Clouds are holding thick, but our temperatures have been mild today, and they're going to be the warmest temperatures we see in several days as, again, much colder air is on the way. So, again, we're going to be tracking widespread rain for the majority of us, then transitioning on the backside of that with that colder air filling in. There will be locations west that see some light snow. We'll, show, we'll really zone in on who's going to have that. Best shot, guys, and how much rain we're talking coming up.